How's it going everyone? Ben here, your friendly neighborhood transgender medical student. And today I am going to be sharing a story with you all. A story that was pivotal to my trans awakening. And the story also touches upon a really wonderful aspect of childhood and that kids really, really can understand adults and can understand the ways of the world more than adults really can. And I still think about this incident to this day because it's not only funny, but also very, very oddly affirming for me. So if you all don't know me through my other videos, I realized I was trans around the age of 18 when I first started college, not because of the fact that it took me that long to realize it. It's more that I didn't have a word for how I viewed myself to the outside world. I always liked action figures. I always liked boy things. But I never knew what the word transgender was until college. And that's when I realized that I'm not actually a lesbian, but I am trans and queer. So around the time I was 16, around three years before I realized that I was trans, I was volunteering at a local public library near my hometown because I wanted to get the, um, I think it's called the Community Service Award uh, in high school. So I was volunteering at a local library and I was a volunteer shelver, which means I was spending 46 hours a day, unpaid, mind you, unpaid, shelving books at the library. I would get these giant, giant carts filled with books and I would spend hours just, you know, organizing them to the place that they should be at the library. And I remember one specific day, uh, there was a little seven, five, six, seven year old child that was there and uh, she was running around, you know, minding her own business, looking at books. And then she suddenly came up to me and looked up. Not that I'm thinking about it, the fact that they made me shelf books for six hours straight without a lunch break is kind of like child labor, <laughs> but they were doing it on the guise of volunteerism. And I'm sure in America they do this throughout all forms of volunteerism targeted towards young high schoolers. But going back on topic, this this kid was looking up at me and I was looking down at her. I was at least, a, a full, I was short, I was still 5'3", but I was looking down on her and I was like, why, why is this kid, why is this kid staring at me? And then all of a sudden she takes her hand, like her little, little palm is probably the size of this. She takes it. She just smacks me on the middle of my chest. And I'm just like, what just happened? Because this was a public library and there were people around and I just got smacked in the boobs by a little seven year old. So after that, I'm shocked. I have no idea what's going on. I, this little child just assaulted me and I, I was just like staring at her. She looks up at me and she's squinting the entire time. She starts yelling at me and she's like, why do you have titties? First of all, the fact that this child knew what the word titties meant <laughs> was hilarious to me. I felt like I was talking to a 23 year old instead of a second year old. And she's asking me this question and I'm thinking the entire time, first, you're rude. And second, huh? I'm not as offended as I thought I was going to be because I felt a little gender affirmed. That was the first time in my entire life someone actually gave me a gender affirming comment about my chest. I just remember that I just felt so good. I mean, like this kid assaulted me, this kid yelled at me, this kid was rude to me. But for some reason, I was really appreciative of this child. And I think it goes back to about a year ago before that is when I started developing breasts. And I remember girls in my class commenting on my chest size and how jealous they were of how, you know, how they looked. And I actually cried that day when some of my friends approached me and told me I had nice breasts because that was so, so traumatizing for me. And my friends were just so confused. A lot of them were just like, I don't understand why you got so offended. We were giving you a compliment. And at that point, I didn't have the words to tell them that this was something that was very dysphoric to me. I didn't even have, I didn't even know the word dysphoria at the time. I just knew that it made me feel terrible to be complimented on my large breast size. So a year later, this seven year old does this to me and it feels surprisingly wonderful. <laughs> 
But I think the end of the at the end of the day, what I really want to convey is that a lot of people think that children don't understand the world, children don't understand gender, children don't understand themselves or other people. But the fact of the matter is children are very, very self-aware. They're more aware than adults are because of the fact that adults are so busy with their own lives, busy thinking about what's going on in the day, busy thinking about the future. They're constantly occupied by the thoughts surrounding them and the things that they need to accomplish at the end of the day or things that are due coming forward. But children don't have that. Children are able to observe the world through their own eyes at the moment and decipher the world and discover and explore the world through their own eyes and un try to understand things that are different. And this child, although rude, saw me shelving books at the library, a 16 year old skinny 90 pound person that probably should have eaten more but didn't because they were afraid to gain weight because it would accentuate my curves. This child saw something was off. I wasn't completely happy in my body. And even though she was rude, she made me feel better about myself. That's it for the end of the story, but I really, really want to emphasize that I gave this child a lesson afterwards on why they shouldn't do what they did. I sat down with her, told her how that was really inappropriate for her to do, and she shouldn't hit other people because I'm a random stranger and I'm nice enough to not say or do anything about it, but I wouldn't want her to get her get herself in trouble in the future and it's not an okay to do, thing to do to you know disrespect someone's boundaries it's really really important for kids to understand that assaulting and hitting someone is not okay so i sat down with her for a couple of minutes afterwards and debriefed with her and told her how you know that was not something that she should be doing right now or ever in the future but Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this story. I hope you got something out of it. Please share this story with someone that may benefit from it. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep up with my daily life and other shenanigans. And I'll see you in the next video. Mwah. This is Ben.